Um, we are going to start this in three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, so um, this is, uh, I guess, randomly generated game. Uh, you're at a party and you're trying to find the dog because you don't want to talk to any of the people. Um, and the way it works is, it is randomly generated, the layout, but uh, certain rooms are set up in certain ways where uh, doors will always lead to either like a viable option or a non-viable option. Um, so basically it's just about going through the level listening for the dog and uh, trying to <laughs> trying to limit your options so that you can find it as quickly as possible. But sometimes there are forks you have to just guess and it's, you know, a good speed game. Yeah, we did figure out a few months ago that if you press B, it lets you make the dog bark. But usually you have to wait like every 10 seconds and it'll bark and it makes it really tough. Yeah. So there's actual speed tech in this game, I promise. So what pup are you hoping most to find? Uh, probably Ziggy. My favorite's Tar. Yeah, it's very contentious which pup's the best out of the game. Yeah. But. Um. So there's actually 52 unique pups you can get. So we're only going to see 10 of them today, which is unfortunate. Uh, but there's also technically only 51, and then there's a cat. Uh, and the cat's name is Finn. Oh. And uh, it's, it's very um, divisive whether or not he's good or not. Most people like him, but a lot of people don't. Does it count for the run, or? No. Yeah, if, if we get hilarious, If though. we get Finn, we just have to reset. Yeah. We can do it all over again. You have to get an extra one, because he doesn't count as a pup. <laughs> Luckily, we haven't added that to the rule set yet. And also, like the more you pay attention to how these houses just laid out, the more you just question who built it, because you have like bedrooms attached to living rooms, attached to bedrooms, attached to like three kitchens in a row. And it's just. Um, so here, uh, he just got. Oh, that was actually level four. So after you get the third pup, the difficulty actually jumps up. I think there are three settings. There's like easy, medium, and hard. Uh, it typically jumps up at uh, round four and then round seven. And it's actually pretty hard. Um, round four introduces you can get staircases, and they're very um, hard to deal with because if you take a staircase, typically it leads to like a whole different section, and it's very hard to hear where the dog is. So you could just take a staircase and then just be out of luck. Peaches. All right, fresh maniacs happy. <laughs> Yeah, the other thing with that is, like, no matter how high, like, up or down you are compared to the dog, it'll still sound relatively the same. So when you get staircases like that, sometimes you have to head like away from the dog and then back towards it. So there's some weird stuff that can happen with that. Mm -hmm. And the there's no real limit to how ridiculous the house layout could be because you can get like multiple staircases, and they'll go up a floor and then down a floor, and yeah. then back down again, and then it could be on that floor, but it might also just be on the floor you started on. <laughs> I think it's Rue. Oh, it is Rue. I know like 10 of the dog's names. Well, that's all you need to know, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you also get houses where it's like, it's got three floors and there's two different ways to get to the second floor, but they're not connected to each other at all. It's great, honestly. Um, so shout out to Gongst, who only picked this game up recently, but he actually like went through the files and figured out how the game works, whereas we were just kind of messing around and uh, brute forcing it. but. He's actually insane. The world record for this game now is like four oh, minutes tank. and three seconds. But yeah, like I was mentioning before, that like all these rooms, they have a bit of a pattern to them. Well, some of them have patterns to them where like some like these two doors over here are always going to be not the right doors. That one will yeah. always be the right door. And that in that L shaped room, there was a, a door on the left that he didn't go in. That's always like a bathroom or a closet typically. And when you go down these long hallways, it's usually worth it to check the doors on the sides because there's really no good pattern for those hallways. They just kind of, they could be anything. So you generally want to check the doors as you run by to make sure that you're not missing a hallway. So we have two more pups to go. So the difficulty is going to be fairly high right now. I think it also is based on how much time you have because the whole entire way this game works is just, it never ends. So 10 pups is kind of just a number we picked because nine is not enough pups and 11 is too many, so. The true horror game where you're just at a party and it never ends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, missed the door somewhere. Uh, this one? No. <laughs> oh, this, this will happen sometimes. Uh, I have to backtrack just a little bit. But the music's really good for like five minutes. <laughs> Oh, 
It sounds like the dog's behind. Oh, because there's staircase. Yay. Uh, there's also another category of this game, which is really awful. Um, instead of trying to get just 10 pups, you get all unique pups. And because of the way the RNG works, is you have a there are 52 unique pups. So the further you get into the run, the less of a chance you have to discover a unique one. And it takes a long time. So we've had runs before where you get 51 of the 52, and then you just sit there for an hour, just looking for the last one. Yep. So, so we're land a one more pup somewhere. So. so yeah, time will be when he clicks this pup. Should be right here. And time. 548 is pretty good. Oh, it's five. Well, thank you guys for watching me play this video game. Um, <laughs> I can't think of a better way to spend my birthday, so. Um. <laughs>